Hi everybody. Okay, I am making shepherd's pie. And I just had the, the fire on too high. This is a pound of ground turkey. First I put one tablespoon of oil in a hot pan. So now I'm gonna break this up, let this cook for a little bit. This is a pound of ground turkey. We're gonna make a nice shepherd's pie. I've got my hot water boiling right here because I'm going to make some mashed potatoes, instant mashed potatoes. I'm just gonna make it all really easy. I'm gonna try to make it as easy to follow for all of you guys. And this has come out really good for me in the past. I've got all my stuff lined up. I'm gonna try to make it as easy to follow as possible. There's a few things in it, but it's not, it's not really hard at all. So, I'm gonna let this brown for a little bit. And I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so my turkey is mostly brown. Just a little bit of pink. There's just a little bit of pink in there. So, now we're gonna add our salt and pepper. Now, salt and pepper is a half a teaspoon each. Salt and pepper, okay? Now, you're supposed to put half of an onion and one garlic clove. This is a little trick that I do for my family. The crunch of onion just, I have a son who just doesn't like the crunch of onions. So what I do is I get a quarter of an onion and I'll get a garlic clove, mush it all up in a food processor, and then I put them in little bags and I have them frozen for any time I need them. And so I just thawed one out a little while ago. So now I have a half an onion, what is it? Yeah, this is a half an onion and a, glow, a clove of garlic, but it's just all minced up. So I get the taste. My son doesn't have to worry about crunching into an onion. There's a lot of people who just don't like the, the thing, the onion flavor, but onion really does add a lot to food. Onion and garlic in most foods. You add a lot. Okay, so now it's already it's already all pureed in there. My onion and my garlic. I got I have the flavor. So now we're gonna go with a teaspoon. No, this is a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. So I'm gonna add that. That just gives a little zing to it. Okay. So now we're going uh, Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna mix it all up. Okay. Okay, so now we've got the Worcestershire sauce. We have a half a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. Okay, the one I happen to have is adobo. It's just an all-purpose seasoning. So I'm gonna put that in. And then we're going to go with Okay, right here, that's it. We got this is the rest of that Worcestershire sauce. Now it says one cup of Beef broth, beef broth, one cup, and two, no, this is one tablespoon, one tablespoon of, of tomato paste, one tablespoon. So now I'm just going to let that incorporate, sizzle up, boil a little bit. We're adding two cups of frozen vegetables. Now, usually you see peas and carrots. I happen to have one that had carrots, peas, 
It has green beans and it has corn. That's fine. Why not? So that's the one I had. That's the one I'm adding. Gives a lot of color and flavor. It's really, it's going to be a good, a good dish. Kind of like meatloaf with vegetables on the side and mashed potatoes. Uh, just served kind of in a pie form. Pretty much that's what that's what this is, uh, shepherd's pie. I don't know where it originated that name, but uh, that's pretty much what it is. Be, uh, well, I'm using turkey. I'm using ground turkey. Usually this is made with uh, a ground beef, or I've seen it, I've heard it, uh, made with lamb. But uh, lamb is kind of an oily meat, so uh, it's preference. Whatever anybody wants to do, they can do. Now, I have a preheated oven for 400 degrees. Just beat. So I'm gonna let this boil up a little bit. And now I'm gonna start my mashed potatoes. So with the mashed potatoes, all I did was go according to a box. And I'm making six servings. This is one pound of meat. I'm gonna make six servings of mashed potatoes. And this ends up being two cups of water. It is, I can tell I'm not gonna be able to do this without my glasses. And here's my glasses. Okay, two cups of water, three tablespoons of butter. Butter or margarine, this is margarine. Let me go ahead and put that in there. This is already nice and boiled. We're gonna go three, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. So let's go with that. Okay. Three quarters of a teaspoon. for a cup of milk and two cups of flakes. So here's a cup of milk. And two cups of flakes. I'm gonna lower the heat on this. Two cups of flakes. Okay, so I'm gonna let this go. I'm going to put this on pause for a little bit while I adjust some parts of this. Okay, so I ended up making my mashed potatoes. I made a little more than I anticipated, but it's all good. It's going to come out good. A little thing that I'm doing, just me, uh, doesn't go on the recipe or anything, but I did add that you can put I'm going to add a half a cup of cheddar cheese to my mashed potatoes. Now, I have seen in certain recipes for uh, shepherd's pie that they do add butter, um, I'm sorry, uh, the cheese, uh, different types of cheeses. I thought that cheddar cheese in these mashed potatoes, that would be good. So, and it's going to kind of make it a orangey color, it'll come out really good. Now this is pretty much done. Calls for a couple of uh, tablespoons of flour. Is it two tablespoons? I'm going to see, yeah, two tablespoons of flour. Now that's to make, to thicken it, to make uh, the sauce thick. And it, right away, you can see, it, it helps. It makes it all thick and the, the sauce is really, Really tasty with that Worcestershire sauce. Okay, this is pretty much done and it really looks good. You can see the colors, smells really good. 
Okay. Now, here's the deal. I was in a yard sale once, and I found a really cool, big pie pan. Talking to my dog, he wants to bark. Now, to put it in perspective, this is the pie pan I found in a yard sale. This is Marie Callender's pie pan. So it's a big pie pan, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna use that, I have used it before for this recipe and it just comes out the perfect size. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray it real quick. Just for the heck of it because I spray everything. I don't really know if this would actually uh, stick to the, to the bottom, but you never know. Okay, so this is pretty much done. It's nice, it has a thick, a thick juice. It's nice. So all you're gonna do, I'm gonna put it over here so it's closer to the camera. Put it right here. So basically you're just gonna put this in here. Okay. Look at how nice that is. And I love this pan, it just comes out perfectly. I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, and now we have mashed potatoes. So now, ooh, and they're gooey because of this. Boy, I just made a mess. They're gooey because of the cheese. You can see it. Ah, that's really, you gotta say it's gonna taste. You know it's gonna be good. And it looks good. Okay. Now I have another son who does not like cheese, so I probably wouldn't do this when he's home, but he's, he's away right now. So the three of us who are here right now do like cheese. And, wow, oh, made a pretty decent amount of, of mashed potatoes. I mean, I, there's not too much left. Look how beautiful that looks. Doesn't that look good? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the oven. I think that's perfect. I'm going to put it in the oven, 400 degrees for about a half hour, just so that it, get, it can get nice and toasty on top. And uh, we go from there. Now this is already hot because I was cooking on it, so I'm going to have to hold this to put it in. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put this for a half hour, 30 minutes. I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be back.